Berlin's Fernsehturm is a television tower in central Berlin. It is a well-known landmark right next to Alexanderplatz and was built between 1965 and 1969 in then East Berlin as a prestige project of the communist regime. The tower was used as a symbol of Berlin by the regime of the DDR. The tower can be easily seen in the central districts of Berlin. The tower was originally 365 meters high, but after a new antenna was installed in 1997, its height has been increased to 368 meters. The television tower is the tallest structure in all of Western and Central Europe. There is a viewing platform and a rotating restaurant in the tower. The viewing platform with a bar is 204 meters above the ground, while the restaurant, which rotates all the way around the 20 in 20 minutes, is a few meters above the viewing platform. Originally, the restaurant rotated within an hour. The speed later doubled and tripled during the renovation in the 1990s. Inside the tower, there are two lifts that bring visitors up to the platform in 35 seconds. Despite the speed, the elevator mechanisms are so fine-tuned that few people notice the movement. There is also a stairway with 986 steps. Since reunification, the tower has been owned by Deutsche Telekom. When the sun shines on a stainless steel dome, it gives a reflection in the room of a cross. The atheist and church suppressing communist regime had not foreseen this, and this effect was therefore publicly called revenge of the Pope. There is an interesting museum situated at the base of the television tower near Alexanderplatz, the Menschen Museum, called Memu. No other museum in Berlin's recent history has fascinated and caused as much debates as the Menschen Museum. The first museum by the creators of Body Worlds Dr. Gunther van Hagens and Dr. Angelina Wally. The MEMU dares to go beyond the structure of the human body. It shows what connects us, what keeps us upright, in motion, what makes us laugh and what makes us love. It shows the complexity, resilience and vulnerability of the human body and describes organ functions and common diseases in an easily understood way. Plastinites in lifelike poses allow a direct connection with the viewer's own body. The specimen on display were preserved through plastination, the preservation process invented by Dr. Gunther von Hagens in 1977 at the University of Heidelberg. The stem from people who have consented to donate their bodies for the education of medical professionals and the general public after their death. Music